Hello, my name is Gillian Gorry, uh, or at Gilly Gorry on Twitter. I am an occupational therapist and one of the team members um, of OTALK. As part of OT Week, we've all decided to do a very short video clip which um, includes explaining why you became an occupational therapist and showing you very briefly one of our favourite occupations. So, to start off with, why did I become an occupational therapist? Well, I always knew what I wanted to be. I always knew that I enjoyed doing things like um, arts and crafts, which are meaningful to me, and doing activities which enabled people's independence or were important to them. And, but I didn't know that there was a profession attached to that. One day um, I saw an occupational therapist stand up who explained what her job was and I thought, ah, yeah, um, light bulb moment, that's, that's what I want to be. So I went to college, I did an access course, and then I went to university and did my degree and I qualified in 2012. Um, I've done a variety of jobs since then, but specialise in acquired brain injury. Um, I do have special interest in doing sort of creative activities for health and wellbeing. And one of my favourite activities at the moment is sewing. Um, and this year, I've spent much of this year learning how to uh, use a sewing machine again and do dressmaking. So I'm very briefly going to show you um, some sewing. And it will be very briefly. Uh, I am currently making um, aprons or maybe, you know, clothing protectors um, that look like princesses or superheroes or making dresses for my nieces. So I am just going to show you how I attach a waistband. I've already done one line of stitching, but I need to do a second line of stitching. Um, so my sewing machine is already threaded up. This is a new sewing machine, which is... Um, my favourite toy, but the unique thing about this sewing machine, the thing that I like about it actually, um, is that it's got the option to use it with hand controls. So for somebody who maybe would struggle using a foot pedal, you've got the option to have it entirely controlled up here where you have a stop and start button and can control the speed. Um, I've got it on a medium setting today, which tends to be where I prefer it to be at. So let's go. I've already got my um, material in and my needle down. I'm going to do two stitches forwards and then two stitches backwards and that's um, a securing stitch so that'll mean that it doesn't fall apart. And then I'm just going to uh, run all the way along the yellow ribbon. Trying very hard to keep it straight. doesn't really matter if it's a little bit wonky, it just adds to the uniqueness in my opinion. That's my story anyway and I'm sticking to it. And then again when you get to the end you need to do a couple more securing stitches. And I very gently pull out the cotton and put it off and that's my, uh, my belt attached to my the this is going to be a superhero um, and we'll have a cape and things, it's not finished yet. Um, but these are some other ones that I've done previously.